Oh, Christ. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. A natural response. It will become easier the more we proceed. If it helps, I have prepared a little gift for you. What are you talking about? Outside in the corridor. You see the lines of computer code. All the ones and zeros. Please, approach and proceed. Not that again. Where am I now? This is another memory. Not quite. Consider this a filing cabinet, Mr. Black, of all the evidence you gather. We'll make sense of it eventually. Any information filed by the Pandora is accessible for you in this room. Each board represents a different memory. Give it a try. Look at a couple of boards and see what happens. Any connections or links your mind may have made, even unconsciously, are recreated visually by the Pandora. I'm rather proud of this feature. You can study the investigation further, or return to the asylum when you're ready. Just use the photo in the middle of the room. Very good, Mr. Black. Your synaptic transitions are becoming much easier. The room you just visited will help you stay away from conjecture and concentrate only on the facts. Facts? All I know is that my name is Black, and apparently I stole this corner gun. Precisely. And an expert job it was, too. ADS all but went bankrupt after you disappeared with the prototype. But I'm sure we will learn more. As you proceed. Like how to get out of here. You are here through choice, Mr. Black. And if you show the same clarity of thought as you did breaking into ADS, then that might not be for too long.
Red. Hey, why is everyone loose? The patients must have their exercise, Mr. Black. Now move along. Match found. Patient name, Albert Hall. Suffers from severe panic disorder. What is this? Jesus Christ, the code for the door. I need the code. Ah, yes, 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 code. Secret code, my riddle. You solve my riddle, you get the secret. Ah, it is a party after all. Ah, 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 it is a party. There must be prizes. Woohoo, I love prizes. <laughs> ah, twinkle, twinkle, little cat. How I wonder where you're at. Search for answers high and low. Turn off the lights and let it glow. Little cat lost in the dark. Can you find my secret marks? <laughs> Thank you. 
What now? Don't take this music away! Leave it be! Just leave it be! The party! The party! is on its way! It's on its way! What the hell is all this stuff? I just wanted to say that I understand if you don't want to adopt. I'm at the studio this afternoon. Call me when you're back and I'll come straight home. We can talk then. I love you. Just a small reminder from your loving wife. Don't you dare forget our appointment at the clinic today. 2 p.m. sharp. See you then, Mr. Scatterbrain.
I tried your office but couldn't get through. Call me if you get this. I've got news and you may want to brace yourself. Love you loads. Honey, are you okay? Talk to me. But are you are you absolutely sure? I did the test three times. The doctors, they said. I guess we proved them wrong. <laughs> but that can't be right. It can't be. <laughs> that means. It means we're not just a couple anymore. It means we're a family. Why show me this? Is this how you justify everything? What just happened? What was that? Ah, you're back with us. Good. Those memories, they felt different. What was that place? No need to bother yourself with that, Mr. Black. Just a quirk of the technology. So they were my memories? What's going on? That is none of your concern, Mr. Black. It is irrelevant to your treatment. Now. Let's proceed. Proceed. Right. How old are you? 25. Right. Let's imagine tonight you're walking home after work. You see a horse in the middle of the street and you're scared. You start uncontrollably panicking. Your heart is pounding. Your, your hands get sweaty. You don't understand what's happening to you. When you're an adult, for Christ's sake, you shouldn't be scared of a horse. Now, now you've no way of knowing what the root of this phobia is, but my therapy will make everything clear for you in an hour, maybe less. Perhaps when you were two or three years old, your brother snuck into your room one night, wearing a horse mask on his head. Perhaps he just you know, stood there staring, watching, breathing, waiting. You woke up and you were terrified. I call it TRT, Toy Regression Therapy. Give patients toys or mementos from their childhood, and the psychoanalytic magic works miracles. One to ten. How much did this new treatment help you to discover your inner self? Inner self? I'm no such thing. Please. I just wanted to serve my country. Oh, don't change the subject. I I'll ask again. On a scale of one to ten... You made them cut my fucking arms off! 
My fucking... We did it to save your life. That landmine... I will end you, motherfucker. I will crush your fucking throat. <laughs> How? You have no arms. But you seem to be much less concerned about your past mistakes now, so let's call that a nine, shall we? day for psychiatry and for people with mental health issues all over the world I only helped my patients get better nothing more and, and there's one thing I just don't understand why do the media still criticize my methods how dare they what about my results hmm? and not, not one idiot journalist ever asked how many of my patients were cured not one I know why. It's because my patients got better. All of them. Even those who died. Especially those who died. You wouldn't regret letting me go. This is my art. All my brother's sacrifices to the puppet master. You killed all those people. Why? No, you cannot kill what does not live. They are free. And you will join them soon. Dopamine levels have spiked. Are you enjoying this, Mr. Black? What the fuck?
Match found. Redmond Macy, kleptomaniac. Known aliases, Maestro Berry. Time to talk about our first lead, Mr. Black. What do you know? The question, Mr. Black, is what do you know? Let's see if you have any memory of this place. Focus on the photo when you're ready. Listen, I think someone's been murdered here in the warehouse. You should send someone. It, I'm half a mile down the road from the Pike Hill turning off Park Street. I was out on a run and I stopped here for a minute. I'm looking at him right now. He's lying face down. No, he's definitely dead. There's a lot of blood. Yeah, it's Jacob. Jacob Singer. Look, can you please just send someone? Thanks. Oh, you do remember this place. Interesting. Please, just tell me why this is important. An unidentified man died at a nearby abandoned warehouse not long before you tried to save the girl. He was shot at point-blank range. And we're going back to that warehouse? That's correct, yes. The police wrote the whole thing off as a drug deal gone wrong. But that's not what you believe. I believe everything in life is connected, Mr. Black. The only question is how. Let's find, find out, out, shall we?